Okay, so once the website is live on WP Engine or any hosting platform, there are a couple of things you need to do in order to make it uh, current. So previously with Elementor, the license was on the Jet Detailing or whatever domain dot WP Engine or whatever temporary domain is used. So we have to update it again to match the new domain. So all you have to do is go to Elementor, license, switch account, and then connect it to whatever existing uh, Elementor license you have. So I have just a business one, the one with a thousand sites or whatever. This depends on which one you have. If you don't have the thousand one and you're planning on doing more than three sites in a year, just get it. It, 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 it pays itself off. Okay, so then after we do that, what we have to do is add the site kit. So if we want to track what's happening with the site for SEO purposes, uh, and just to know, right? So like even if you're not running any marketing, it's good to add this immediately. So like you have an idea. When you do want to log in and look at stats, you can. So site kit. So you can't do it that way. You got to go to add new <laughs> site kit. And then it's going to be this one, Site Kit by Google, install now. I found this to be the easiest way of doing it. So I just keep doing it this way. Activate. Once you activate, you're going to start setup. This is assuming you already have an account. If you don't, it, as long as you have a Gmail account, it's pretty easy to set up. Just go through the, the setup process. So connect Google as part of your thing. And then it's going to ask you to sign into Google. So I've done this before, so it's going to say I already have access, but you have to confirm it again several times. You are already verified. Google detects that you are the verified owner of Jet, De Jet Detailing. I don't actually know how they do this because, so it's a, in my case, this is on a Google domain that the client added me to. So I'm assuming because that email is the same as the email that I'm using the Google Analytics with, it matches it or my browser knows that I'm logged in. I don't actually know how it does it, but a lot of the times it'll ask you to add, not a lot of the times, very small amount of times to verify the domain. It'll ask you to add a TXT record to the file, to the domain so that it knows that you own it. And it's pretty simple. So just go to where your domain is, add a record in the DNS. So find the DN DNS editor, DNS zones, DNS something, find that DNS add a txt record and put in whatever file name it asks it tells you on the screen but it doesn't do it for us because we're verified magically so a tournament which is good i don't want to do it so allow that basically you have to set up search console this is definitely part of the process set up google analytics so that's it like well we're connected now we have to finish setting up the account so account if there was an existing account, we, you, you would do it here. So if the website had a previous Google Analytics account, you could connect it this way. But because we don't, we're going to set up a new one. This is a brand new site never used before. Or never they've never had a site before, so that's kind of rare. Uh, then we're going to add this, continue. We're literally just going to say yes to everything, basically. Uh-oh. Okay, so accept terms. I also accept this data and actually we're going to uncheck these, the data sharing stuff, because then they're just going to call you and they're going to send you all this stuff that we don't care about. Go to my dashboard and there we go. It's done. So now it's going to say gathering data. So because there's no traffic here, um, it's not going to have anything. It's also going to do that for the Google search console. And it is cool because let's say your client had wants access. They can just go to their website and look at this. Or they can go to Google Analytics, but I feel that uh, having it here is a nice option for for not having to log in on all these different places, especially if it's just for high level, how much traffic, right? What are the main pages that have been visited? And then the cool thing about it as well is that it did it in both places. So if I go to Google Analytics, uh, it is, it's going to have the new one here. See, so everything's gonna be UA4 now. And here it is, ta-da! We have Google Analytics, Google Search Console, so just to prove the point here.
There it is. Boom. And uh, yeah, so because it's just been set up and the site literally went live like an hour ago, two hours ago. I usually do this like immediately so that we can start collecting data. And that's it. That is how you add Google Analytics, Google Search Console to your Elementor website. And I also included to make sure to add that Elementor license because nothing actually happens if you don't, but like if you're already paying for it, okay, my experience, nothing happens, but I believe if you build your site with certain things, for example, the header and the footer, it just won't work anymore when you take it live. So adding that back in uh, will, will help you get all those elements back. And that's it.